Uh, J-Boy comes in, says free agent wide receiver, draft left tackle, or free agent left tackle and draft wide receiver is the only way. Interesting. So I would say I like the free agent wide receiver class significantly more than the offensive tackle class. Now, I will say if you can get one of your top options at tackle, I would like to do that. But I think there's enough money to go after a top wide receiver as well. I think you can do both of them. And then you set yourself up for your big board heading into the draft. Like in my mind, Marvin Harrison Jr. is gone. But I would have Alt, Fashanu as my top two. Then I would go down and I would say Bowers and Odunze would be my next two after that. And depending on if those two fall, then you start getting into this conversation of like, okay, do you trade down with a team that might want to come up for a quarterback? <laughs> and like, do you want to take Fuwaga at tackle three? He's going to play in the senior bowl. I think that's going to be a major stepping stone for him. I think if I were, if I were Fuwaga, I would play and practice at left tackle at the senior bowl, because that gets your conversation into the top 10 with the New York jets, as opposed to only having your career at right tackle. And then, uh, maybe the Jets deciding, hey, we want to go with a, a wide receiver or a tight end instead. I'm good with either option, but I have a feeling Higgins could get tagged, Evans could get tagged, Pittman could get tagged, Ridley could get tagged, and then you start going down the list and it's like a little more cringy. So now you're talking Mike Williams, maybe a Keenan Allen. I think Patrick Sertan, a trade for him because of how the Broncos cap space is going to be affected by Russ Wilson, even if they designate him a June 1st cut, it's $40 million each of the next two years. So they're going to have to clear some cap space. And Sutton released a comment or a post that made it implied that he had played his last down in Denver. So whether that's via trade with a Zach Wilson or he's going to get cut and bring him in, we have his former wide receivers coach here. We have Nathaniel Hackett here. Maybe there's some type of connection there. I would love to get a Sutton in free agency combined with like, you know, a Mike and when you from, from the Patriots and then roll into the draft and truly go best player available at number 10 overall. Matt, your thoughts? I think that's a good plan because my initial, before you went into what you just said, which I think was fantastic, I was going to say we are going to have a significantly better idea for what the Jets are going to do in the draft in March, right? Like once you figure out, once they sign their first few guys, if they're still not a tackle on the roster, but guess what? They either traded for Devontae Adams or signed Mike Evans, the Higgins insert wide receiver here, where you're going to go, okay, well, you know, you're going to have to find a offensive lineman. And if they go out there and they pay a Tyron Smith, and then maybe they add a, a guard or, or something and you go, Hey, you know, maybe it is going to be a uh, Roma dunes or someone like that. So, um, I, I think it's going to be contingent on what happens at the start of free agency. But I think in the most perfect world, you don't have to go into the draft with this major need. I'm just not sold. They're going to be able to fix both of those things in free agency. I think it's going to have to be a one and one. Green Bean, what about you? Are you feeling you got to do both in free agency and both in the draft? Or do you think that if you, if you had to narrow it down and you had to go wide receiver, then draft left tackle or left tackle and free agency, and then draft wide receiver. Is there a particular direction you want to lean? Yeah, I think uh, the the wide receiver free agent class, like you said, I mean, we're, we're going to lose some of them, like the Mike Evans is of the world. Um, I don't really see him hitting the market, but there's a lot of them, man. There's Tyler Boyd's out there. DJ Chark's like going to be a lot. There. You know, I love Tyler Boyd. And I think, dude, he's number three on that team. Uh, I think he's a, a viable number two wide receiver. Um, but even it, even still, you know, like you, it doesn't mean that that's the only guy that, that you can bring in, but again, DJ Chark, uh, still did pretty well, um, with a piss poor, um, you know, a team around him. you know, obviously the team struggled, uh, you know, this year significantly. And, and he's still, I think he's a quality guy. Like I'd love to see the jets come away with the T Higgins, uh, with a Mike Evans, you know, uh, with a Pittman. I love Pittman. Um, but you know, I think even coming away with the Tyler Boyd, I think that's a really like if they if they um, you know if they end up franchising T Higgins, I mean Boyd's going to wiggle free. Uh, I think you go after that guy, you know. Um, but I would I think there's significantly higher caliber wide receivers. It's it's such a deeper position in free agency this year. I really think the Jets should hammer 
uh, that like, so if we can only do one, you go wide receiver for sure. The, 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 the first round, the tackles, it's deep enough that 10, you're going to get, you're going to get Mims, Fuaga, Latham. Like you're going to get one of those guys, in my opinion. And there's a slim, very, very slim chance that one of the top two can slide down. I don't believe that's going to happen, but it's, there's a chance it always, um, you know, the, the draft fools us every year. Um, So who knows? But I think that you can do that. Now, I would really love, like we were talking about, to see them grab a tackle and a wide receiver or two in free agency. Go into the draft without that desperation. We need, please slide to us. We need that guy. And then you can truly take, like, so if the tackles are gone, you can take Bowers. If Bowers and the tackles are gone, you take Romo Dunes or Keon Coleman or any of these guys that that you like. so, you know, you you have that flexibility that you can take the best guy. You're not reaching for a guy that you have, you know, penned in as like the 20th player in the draft. But shit, he's the position we need and he's the last guy. And we got – you don't want to get in that position. That's when you really run into a lot of trouble. So uh, I think we have options. But free agency, like Matt said, it's going to tell us a lot about what the draft is going to look like. But we got to be aggressive this year. We cannot be playing this Joe Douglas bargain bin bullshit Wes Schweitzer as the premier fucking offensive lineman free agent that we bring in. Like, we can't do that this year. It's got to be real. And if, and if it is real, then the draft, we, we got a lot of flexibility. So I will say I disagree with both of you. I want free agency to not tell us what we're going to do during the draft because that means we did a good job hiding it. But I, I understand what you're saying.